Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum my brothers and sisters I hope you're praying your salahs as well as looking to the Quran and Hadith for guidance in your everyday life If you're watching this video and it's salah time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please also check out the description section of this video to get my new dawah products and to support the channel I was sent a clip by a channel member of Muslim Revert Andrew Tate speaking about the benefits of family life and the sacrifices mothers and fathers have to make to raise well-rounded children Brother Tate was talking about how he raises his own kids and is approaching their upbringing from a masculine perspective as well as an Islamic one. He mentioned God as being the driving force to how children are born and raised and describes his children as a miracle and gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from how he interacts with his daughter, it looks as though he is raising her according to Islam as a default setting and his parenting style due to him now being a Muslim. May Allah make her a pious Muslim too inshallah. It would be great to see his beautiful daughter wearing a hijab or a baya in future as it is a signal to men that the wearer is a modest and subdued woman who should not be bothered. In Islam it symbolises the decency and modesty of women, basically the total opposite of how western women portray themselves these days. What father wouldn't want that? The Quran states tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to cover themselves as it is more suitable so they will not be abused or harassed. If you would like me to react to any of your suggested videos please become a channel member via the join button on my page. Let's roll the clip. I didn't really want children too heavily until my dad died. When my dad died, I felt like my period of being a student was over and it was time to become a teacher. And then I understood that if I'm going to teach people, that's important, but even better to teach my own lineage and bloodline. Guess who it is? Daddy! Daddy! You missed me? Yeah. Oh, have you missed me? Yeah. Have you been good? Yeah. Are you lying? Are you lying or telling the truth? No. No, you're not lying. You've been good? Give me a kiss. The degree of patience that a mother has with a toddler is incredible. They will sit there for 12 hours and listen to garbage music and play garbage iPad games and deal with the endless demands of this little human that doesn't understand other people have feelings. So this little toddler is effectively a psychopath that only thinks about itself. And the level of patience they show is incredible. I, I don't think men can do it. I don't think a man can show that much endless patience. And I don't think we should, because we should be the disciplinarians. I was always the one who said, no, enough. No more Peppa Pig. It's been six hours, no. And if you want to cry, you can cry, but it ain't going back on, I don't care. I was that guy. But the mothers will just tolerate and tolerate, which is why our jobs are so different, but also so equally important because patience is important. And just witnessing the level of patience was mind bending to me. I was like, I don't know how you, and, and the woman's still happy and still smiling. Truly incredible. You want to learn? Yeah. Okay, let's go. You ready to learn how to play chess? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to listen. You're going to listen and pay attention. Turn around. Say it. What is this? Pawn. Pawn. This is what most people in life are. Pawns. This is called a knight. Yeah, a knight. A knight. Like a horse, you see? Yeah, yeah, I can This is a bishop. 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 Ready? We're going to test you, so you better be paying attention. You're going to get tested. This is a queen. You know what a queen is, don't you? Good. And this is a king. King. Like daddy. Yeah, like daddy. 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 Like daddy pig. Daddy pig. Okay. Daddy pig and Peppa Pig. Da okay. Daddy pig and Peppa Pig. You're right. Okay. I think a father needs to be a superhero. I think a father needs to be, to a degree, emulated. I think a father needs to be absolutely and utterly respected. I don't think a father should be a second mother. Mothers can change diapers and make bottles. I've never changed a diaper in my life, never made a bottle in my life, never done any of them things. I don't get up at night. It's not my job. My job is to be somebody who the entire family, both the mother and the child, looks at and really truly believes is a superhero. And I feel like I do that fantastically. And I think to a degree, you have to sacrifice part of your time with your kids to be a superhero. You can't be a superhero of your home all day, changing diapers and playing with the baby. You have to go out 
do something epic and come home and tell that story. You have to go away to war and come back with stories of war. And there's been times where I've missed my children desperately and I haven't been with them as much as I would have liked to have been. But I've always come back with a story worthwhile. I've always come back with gold for the family. I've always come back with a carcass for everyone to eat from. So I feel like as soon as you're a father, you have a responsibility to be a better person, but also be a more interesting and more capable person. There's a lot of fathers out here who are very boring people, very uninteresting, average, mundane people. And I don't see how you can raise a child to be exceptional unless they look at you and understand that you're exceptional. What is your powers? It's, it's, it's just me. Yeah, your superhero powers. Put it off. Okay. Are you stronger than daddy now or no? I, I am stronger. Are you? Can I can I can I can just stuff mom. I can I can just mommy. <laughs> <laughs> who told you to do that? I I got a robot. You got a robot? Yeah. Well who told you to do that? I'm Tristan. Tristan? Yeah. Go hit him. Go hit Tristan. What do you mean no? Go hit Tristan. Why no? But you, you'll hit daddy, but you won't hit Tristan. Why? Oh, so you don't want to hit Tristan. Great. I will also say that having children made me understand how heinous abortion is. You'll always find a way. You'll find food. No one's starving to death. Not in the Western world. You'll find food. And you'll never regret having the child when the child is there. And I think everyone who has kids wish they started earlier. But God has a plan and God decides when the best time is. But it's never too early to have children. I actually think, I used to be super against teenage pregnancy. I think you're an idiot if you got pregnant as a teenager. But depending on the particular circumstance, I mean, if you're financially secure, if you're fiscally secure, if you're from a rich family or, you're, or the man who got you pregnant is particularly rich and you don't have to worry about money, a woman should have kids as early as she wants. I think it's the most beautiful thing a woman can possibly do. In fact, only a few generations ago, I think everyone had kids before they were 22, 23. It was pretty normal. So I would encourage everyone to strongly understand that abortion is never the answer and children are truly beautiful and they're innocent. And that the best way to be a good parent is to be a good person. It's a great way to level up. There's a lot of things, if you can't do them for yourself, at least do them for your kids. And that you take a vested interest in the world and your community more when you have children which are growing up in it. But all in all, it's been a beautiful experience bestowed upon me by God and truly children are a miracle. I really believe children are a miracle. That was a very moving clip. The brother clearly respects his own father from how highly he speaks of him. In Islam, parents hold a significant place of respect and honour. The importance of parents in Islam is highlighted by the fact that there are numerous verses in the Quran that emphasise the significance of serving and honouring one's parents. I liked how brother Andrew acknowledged the full-time responsibility of motherhood and gave women who are mothers respect and props for the sacrifices they make to raise their children. In Islam, it is stated that paradise lies at the feet of the mother. The metaphoric meaning of this is that there are great rewards in being good to and taking care of your mother. In Islam, a believing mother who understands the silent and crucial nature of her responsibility will teach her children faith and moral values. She will raise the children with courage, honesty, patience, love, kindness and self-confidence. The way brother Andrew interacts with his daughter is very touching. He detailed that a father's role is to provide, protect and discipline the children, as well as to love them. This is spot on and it's the way it is in my home also. In Islam, providing is one of the father's obligations towards his children. It is not permissible for him to fall short or to neglect this matter. Rather, he is obliged to do this duty. It is his role to lead his family towards a successful, happy and righteous life. He is responsible for his children learning through his example how to be good and successful people, just like Brother Andrew said. Brother Andrew also mentioned his dislike for babies being aborted and how he can't understand how people can do such a thing. Islam views the practice of abortion as equal to taking the life of another human being. However, under the condition that a mother's life or health is being jeopardised by giving birth, Islam grants greater rights to the mother and makes it permissible under these circumstances. The Holy Quran states, indeed ruined are those who slay their children out of senseless ignorance. It is a great sin. Brother Andrew also spoke about the benefits of having kids young and a family in general and how being a parent makes you a better person, which is evident in how my husband and I came closer to Islam when we had our children. This is why my husband and I have created an Islamic 
fellowship where Muslim parents in the West can join us in banding together to ensure our kids are brought up to be good Muslims despite growing up in the West. Links are in the description. The Hadith states, seek having a child for it is the source of comfort and happiness of the heart for when a person dies without having a child, his name will discontinue. A house that does not have children does not have blessings. There is no child born in a family without the family gaining honour they did not previously enjoy. The fruit of one's heart is his child. The Prophet peace be upon him went on to say, parents are the providers of physical and emotional sustenance. Parents are responsible for giving their kids food to eat and clothes to wear. It is their obligation to not neglect their child and to grant them everything they need to endure the harshest winters and the hottest summers. No parent can give their child a better gift than training them in good manners. Every one of you is like a shepherd responsible for those under his or her care. A man is a shepherd and responsible for the welfare of his family. A woman is a shepherd responsible for her household. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and turn on notifications as I'll be posting new content daily. Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.